Well, the Yankees offseason activity was a topic when Brian Cashman met the media this afternoon. Here's part of what he had to say to quote, we stayed in touch and evaluated all the market availabilities through trade and free agencies and then placed our bets. We were able to attack what was available to us once we pulled those down and closed doors on other things. You only have a certain amount of money to spend. And once you fill those needs, you keep moving. We feel like we've got a good team and we're running out the highest payroll we have ever had in our history. So again, speaking to the media and Meredith, what did you think about his comments, I mean, they do have their highest payroll ever. They have a payroll that'll be approaching 240 to 250 million. We've talked about the addition potentially of another pitcher, so it could go up even more. But the one thing about that quote that stood out with me, Bob, is as he's talking about their decisions, they put their analysis into it. They put their research into it, and then he said, we placed our bets. So now the Yankees, like every other team in baseball, waits to see if the bets that they made end up paying dividends this season. The Yankees opted to make a trade in which they improved their defense with the Twins in getting Donaldson and Kiner Falefa and shedding Urshela and Sanchez. They also added the backup catcher, Rortfit, as well. They took on Donaldson's salary. So that was a move that they decided was going to help them and behoove them this year. They are going to have the moves they didn't make talked about a lot, too, because they were connected with Olsen. They were connected with Freeman. They've admitted that they talked about Correa and Story. So all throughout this season, as the Yankees are hoping that the bets that they placed are successful, they're also going to potentially have to answer questions about the bets they decided not to make. But speaking of bets, doubling and tripling down is what the Yankees have done in recent years in terms of their farm and their developmental system. In the past, could you have said... We'll go get a Matt Olson. We'll give you. We'll, these are all prospects. We we don't know how they're going to shake out. They have a firm belief that the Volpes and Perazas of the world are going to be able to help them in a big way. Otherwise, why wouldn't they trade them? Right. Hal Steinbrenner talked about Volpe and Peraza the other day when he met with the media. So it just shows you the belief that the Yankees have in those young players. They want to win in 2022, though, as well. And will Volpe and Peraza be factors this season? It seems unlikely. Peraza is going to start at AAA, so he's got a chance. We'll see how the kid plays at that level. But you're right about the farm system, Bob, and you're right about their belief and their decisions as well. They have lengthy meetings, and they talk about what they think is going to work best for them in this season. I think the Yankees are in a very competitive division. I think you look at the Rays, you have to say that they're the class of the division because they have been. And then I think the Yankees, the Red Sox, and the Blue Jays are very tightly packed. So every decision that a GM in a front office makes, however small, however large, has the potential to impact that tightness. Now, when it comes to free agency, and this isn't exclusive to the Yankees, you can look at a player like a Correa or Story and say, we like him, we don't love him. We want to see how these other guys shake out. It doesn't make sense at that price. It's like, Jack, you're going to go and buy a car. There's one you like. You don't love it. Are you really going to pay all that money for that car just because you kind of like it, but you really don't want it? Right, and that's why sometimes we wish we could be a fly on the wall in the meetings and the discussions about these players because a lot of the players that we're talking about there's way more to like than there is to dislike, but a team has to make some tough decisions along the way. That's part of that quote that Brian Cashman gave that you read a little bit earlier and we'll see about these 2022 Yankees and whether or not they can get to the postseason again whether or not they can climb higher in the postseason than they did last year there were some decisions that could have been made this offseason some ones that fans would have preferred to see the Yankees didn't do that they're going with a team now that they believe is better defensively a team that they believe is better athletically and a team that is more likely to make contact we've talked about that already Kiner Falefa Rizzo and Donaldson all hitters who last year were more likely to put the ball in play than the average major league player the strikeout percentage in Major League Baseball 23 they were all below that.